Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I wanted to show you the Nook tablet after it's been rooted, the Android Market installed, the custom home screen launcher, and some other tweaks which make it a little bit easier to use, even though it doesn't have some of the features you'd find on some other tablets. Uh, for instance, it just has the Nook toolbar down, or Nook button down here at the bottom instead of the back home and um, search buttons and menu buttons. So, uh, for instance, out of the box you get a sort of Barnes & Noble experience here with a custom home screen, and this brings up your library with applications and books and magazines and so forth and you can go to the Barnes & Noble shop and you can search and uh, view your settings and so forth but if you want uh, something of a more typical experience um, before you were able to root the easiest way to do that would be to install a third-party app launcher and search for it by name and here we are at Go Launcher but it turns out that there's a way that after you have root access on your device, you can go a little further and install a button, an application called Button Savior, which lets you bring up soft buttons and go to the Go Launcher X or other home launcher uh, applications. So this is an application called Button Savior, and it's sort of designed so that you don't have to mash the buttons on a smartphone, but it works really well on devices that don't have their own buttons but do require them. So we've also got a um, menu button here, and a back button, which doesn't really do much on this home screen here. Let's uh, go to the app drawer and click back, and it should take us back. And there are a couple of other customizable options in here. If you want to tweak the look and feel of it, you can change the themes uh, using the free version of Button Savior, or for about a buck forty-nine, you can buy a pro version, which lets you reorder the icons and make some other changes. Um, other applications that I find really useful on here right now include the uh, AnyCut application. And you can see it's sort of designed for a smaller device. It doesn't take up the whole screen here. But what it lets you do is create shortcuts to pretty much anything on your device. So you can create a shortcut to an application, but you can also create shortcuts to things that are normally hidden on the Nook tablet. And that includes, for instance, the development tools. So we create a shortcut that says development. It gets added to the home screen. We can go to the home screen with Button Savior here. And now when we click development, it takes us straight into this uh, setting here, which lets us enable or disable USB debugging. And what that lets you do is connect your tablet over ADB. Now I'm also using, um, I actually have development on here twice, I'm just going to delete that. I'm using the Go Launcher X home screen uh, or program launcher application. There are some others that work, but I find Go Launcher has a couple of features that really make it handy for the, um, the Nook tablet. First of all, you can arrange um, by default, you get a 4x4 four four grid of applications that you can put on the main screen, but you can adjust it to be 5x5 five five or 5x4 five or some other things. Um, the app drawer, you can arrange to go side to side or up and down. And uh, there's room for widgets and other things. And also here on the bottom tray, you can... Uh, uh, things are sort of well spaced out. When I tried the Zeme launcher, for instance, maybe there was a setting I was missing, but everything was very grouped tight together, and I like it better that it uh, it takes up... Uh, you, you have more space here. So this button here brings up the list of full applications, and the rest are customizable. So I was able to install the Android Market here, the Gmail application, ES File Explorer, and Dolphin Browser HD. And um, just to show you the Android Market... Well, I don't need to do that because it's right here. We do have access to the full version of the Android Market, um, which includes apps, music, books, and movies. But not every application that you search for is going to be available um, currently. I don't know if it's a question of the screen resolution or something else, but there's something that's telling the Android Market that the Nook tablet can't run all of the apps that are available. So um, hopefully we'll have a fix for that relatively soon. But right now, you can find a lot of applications in the Android Market that are not necessarily available uh, from the Barnes & Noble shop. Barnes & Noble Shop offers about 1,000 applications. The Android App Store offers about 20,000. The official Google Android market has more like half a million applications. Again, not all visible, but many of them are. So, um, yeah, in terms of uh, tweaks that really make this more useful, I think Button Savior and AnyCut uh, help out quite a bit. Go Launcher X is a nice uh, custom home launcher. And you'll notice also when I click Home that it keeps taking me to Go Launcher X. That's, um, and if I want to go back to the Barnes Noble, I can click Nook and click Home. 
Um, you can adjust that any way you'd like, really, but what I did was I went into the... Uh, I went to any cut and I created a shortcut to manage applications. This is something that's normally difficult to get to on the Nook tablet using the default software. But from here you can add uh, or you can remove applications, force close applications, or change defaults. So for instance, I can go to Go Launcher X and I can click this button that says Clear Defaults. Now when I click the Home button, it's going to ask me do I want to go to Go Launcher or Home. So I can go to Home. That's not what I meant to do. I can go to Go Launcher X, or from that menu I can click Use Default Action, Go Launcher X, and now every time I click the Home button from Button Savior, it'll take me back here. So again, we can go to Barnes & Noble Home Screen, and Go Launcher. And what I've noticed is that if you do set Go Launcher X or another home screen application as your default, when you reboot your tablet, it will automatically boot into that. Um, so again, you can always get to the Barnes & Noble stuff by clicking the Nook button, but um, your default now becomes this home screen as opposed to this one. Uh, another question a lot of people have been asking is if you root um, and install the Android Market, what happens if you reboot your device? You're still rooted. Uh, you can, however, if you really want to for some reason, unroot your device after the Android Market is installed, and any applications that you install from the Android Market will continue to run. You can continue to use the Android Market. Um, rooting your device does open up the ability to make some interesting changes, and some of those changes could be a little bit scary. And right now, there's not necessarily a lot of help if you completely mess up your tablet and you delete files that are important and, and do other things like that. There's not a lot of help uh, for being able to get back to the factory uh, uh, conditions, the factory default conditions, because if you're rooted, you can go into the system partition and actually start deleting files. So you want to be really careful if you are rooted um, not to do that, but it's, uh, it's probably relatively safe as long as you don't go poking around and deleting files to keep root in place in case you want to be able to do things like, say, use Button Savior. Button Savior is a root-only application. Other applications like Titanium Backup, which let you back up applications, root-only. Um, installing the Android Market requires root access, but using it after you're rooted does not. So, that is uh, about all I wanted to show you right now. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at some of the tools that make using the Nook tablet uh, easier once it's been rooted. Um, again, some people might never need to do these things. The, uh, the default software is pretty good. It's just a question of if you want to have a more Android-like experience and if you want to be able to install applications that might not necessarily uh, be able to run on the tablet unless it's rooted or you want to change your uh, default applications or access different settings and stuff. Um, again, Brad Linder, Lilliputing, Nook Tablet.